This is Florida Gulf Coast University. Welcome to Community Engagement Day 2012. I am delighted with the turnout of students. It's twice what it was last year. As a student, what I envied is the idea that this group of students and others like them were inspired and engaged in something so important that they had to take action on it. There was something inside of them. It was a discontent. We decided to work with the kids at the Oasis Youth Shelter. We really wanted to work with the kids there to try to inspire them, to show them that there was a future for them. Other members of my group were able to procure basketballs and other sports equipment for the kids to play with, to raise funds to help them fix a van that they use to transport and pick up kids that are uh, currently in trouble. Our project is Beauty From Ashes. It's a sex trafficking organization. A lot of the girls that are being trafficked are in strip clubs. We just packed it with the Bible, the cards, so they can contact the organization, hair products, makeup. I think that if we make a lot of people more aware that it is actually going on in your neighborhood, it'll help spread the message that you can be on the lookout. We're partnering up with the Gulf Coast Humane Society to try to get them an isolation facility which they really need. Something where the animal is both comfortable and isolated, where he or she can't spread whatever they have to other animals. We made these crafty little dog and cat masks and we're pledging not to take them off until we raise $10,000. Our project was working with at-risk youth at Stars Complex. We wanted to promote positivity through education and recreational activities. Us being college students coming in with them as peers, they really enjoyed it a lot. It was great. And we got to say that after these years, you guys are going to make decisions, and we just want to encourage you to make the right decisions. Was there something in the project that you worked on that moved you so deeply that no matter whatever adversity you came across in your project or beyond, it will inspire you and it will engage you to stay on the bus? Because let me tell you, that's where real community change happens. Our project on a product is about getting a ramp for sled hockey. It's a sport created for disabled people that have injuries from the waist down, they cannot walk. And a full player with a completed gear, it, it's around 250 pounds. And most of the ice rinks, it has a four inch um, step that it takes at least two people to get him over the step when it comes to in and out of the ice. It's all made out of aluminum and synthetic ice. It's really lightweight and it's really portable. Our project is the mosquito education for kindergartners. We read them a couple different books and have a story time on mosquitoes education. It's a fun way to start the development of science and education together. We start with something like the mosquito because it's known more like a pest when in reality it pollinates flowers, acts as food sources. Our project is working with the local nonprofit Project Help Naples. They're an organization that helps victims of sexual assault violence through a crisis hotline, through grief counseling. We took care of some of the office work that you know they needed to get done, making brochures, organized all their clothes so when they do have their thrift store sale for donations, they can easily access those clothes. Our project was on deaf awareness. The deaf community from the Deaf Center in Fort Myers we have a site silent dinner and we had an open caption movie night and a silent dinner over at the Red Robin. And then one of the students here who is deaf wanted to see that a sign language club get started. So we're not just, as an example, volunteering for soup lines. We want to understand and correct those conditions that lead to having a soup line. And that separates service from community engagement. I got accepted yesterday to Teach for America and developed a program called the ACE Mentor uh, Program. Thank you to the students especially and the faculty who guide them in uh, all of these worthwhile activities 